Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make skin or skin tones shine or glow or be a little bit brighter, a little bit a little bit more salient. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So here is with the original image, and this is just the bottom layer, the original image. It looks like it's even been applied through a little bit of a filter, some sort of gingham filter perhaps. And then here it is when I've made some adjustments to it. And I've made the skin, and only the skin, a little brighter, a little bit of a glow to it. So let me show you exactly how I did it. I'm going to delete these layers. We're going to start from scratch. Okay, first layer is loaded up. If you're following along, put old, any old image in there as long as it's got some skin tones. The next step is I'm going to left click on this layer, and I'm going to drag and drop it on top of that plus sign. That allows me to create a duplicate layer. We are on our way. All right, the next step here is I'm going to go ahead and draw a mask around the skin. So the skin tones and maybe a little bit of uh, outside the skin, but primarily skin tones. So how do I do that? The first step here, I'm going to go to my quick selection tool and I'm just going to select here. Okay, I'm going to get in here. So, okay, don't want that. So I'm just going to just get it relatively close. This doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm not going to go into taking out all the dark colors because, again, I'm just teaching you the technique. If you want to really get into this, um, you would, of course, would want to go in and use color selections. But let's just do a rough outline. Okay, I don't want that part of the hair. Okay, so, yeah, again, this is, again, this is very, very rough. But that's the point. I'm just teaching you the technique. That's all. So there we go. We've got some stuff here. We've got a selection. Now, the next step is, if you're following along with me, uh, let's go back to where I was. Let's go back here. The next step here is to select and mask. So I'm going to select and mask it. And then, bang, we're going to get the masking options. For me, I just like to increase the feather to about one pixel. And I'm going to go ahead and shift the edge in one percentage so it kind of comes in a little bit so we don't get some of the rough edges. They kind of get feathered and blurred. Again, you can um, adjust this as you see fit. But I'm just going to click OK. So here's the selection we're working on. All right, the next step is we're going to go ahead and create an adjustment layer. So head up to Adjustments. And for this one, we're just going to do a simple brightness and contrast. Again, there are multiple ways to do this. Do not get me wrong. This is just one of the many different ways. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness. I'm going to show you what happens if we go to 100. It's way too bright, obviously. So let's just go ahead and jack it up to about 14. Let's go to 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and increase the contrast as well. That is on its way something like that. What do you think? Okay, cool. All right. Now, if I turn this off, turn it on, off, on. Okay, so you see where we're going with this, right? Now, basically, we've gone ahead and done what we need to do. But I'm going to go ahead over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab the dodge and the burn tool. So we're just going to go ahead and just make some little bit of adjustments. So watch what happens here. So as I'm just sort of clicking over her, and actually I'm on the wrong layer, pardon me, I should be on the second layer. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of hot spots, a little bit bright spots wherever I see fit. If I think it's a little too dark, maybe I want it kind of on the edges. So like the sun is touching the edges of her right there. Okay, cool. Something like that. Again, this is the dodge tool. And this needs to be on the layer. I was on the mask earlier. That's not correct. So there. Let's see what we got here. Off. On. Now, again, like I said, there's multiple ways to do this. But this is one of them. It works great. Thanks for watching this tutorial. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.